I am Anil Kumar. In this series, I have taken a few examples where we are talking about number of arrangements with separated letters. Here is a test question for you. The question is, find the number of arrangements of the letter in the word independence where vowels are separated. Right? Where vowels are separated. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now in one of our videos, I have explained a method which I am going to apply here. I will provide you with the link of that method also. Now let's look into the word independence. It is I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Okay. So it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 letters, right? Out of which we have to see how many repeat. So, uh, okay, let's count E's. Uh, so D's come first, so let's say 2. So we have out of which 2 D's, okay? And E, 1, 2, Three, four E's, okay, four E's, and uh, okay, so we are going to so P is one N. How many N's? We have one, two, three N's. Okay, so let me write three N's here. Okay, so these are the letters which are repeated. There are twelve in all. Now, how many are vowels? Let's look into vowels now. Uh, okay, let's highlight the vowels. The question is where vowels are separated. So A, E, I, O, U. So we have I and we have got these E's. Okay. Okay. So we have, as far as the vowels are concerned, uh, let me write down here. Vowels are four E's and one I. So five vowels. Now with that, uh, let's begin answering the question. Find the number of arrangements of the letters in the word independence where vowels are separated. So what we will do is, we'll form a word first without vowels. So if I take away these vowels, I'm left with N, D, P, N, D, and then again N and C. So I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5 are vowels, I've already excluded, 12 is total, that means I've not missed any word. It's good to check and go, I mean slow in this, right? So we have all these words, so the idea is, how many words can you form with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of these letters, where some are repeated, you know the formula. And uh, what we have left out is vowels. So we can insert the vowels in these positions, ensuring that all are separated. Do you understand? All are separated. How many are these positions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One more than the number of words. Correct? One more than the number of words. Now these are, how many vowels do we have here? We have five vowels, taking eight positions. Is it okay? And that can happen for all the combinations which can be made with consonants. Does it make sense to you? So first thing is, let's understand the approach. And then we can give the answer. So let's go with it. <clears throat> Total number of words which can be formed here, is how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that means 7 factorial, over. Let's look into what is repeated. 1, 2, 3 n's, yes, 3 n's, so 3 factorial. Anything else? 2 d's, 1, 2, yes, 2 factorial. So these are total number of ways in which you can arrange all the letters without vowels, means consonants. And where can the vowels be placed? The combination of these. Vowels can be placed 
in we have how many five vowels can be placed in eight positions eight c5 do you see that and therefore if i multiply these two as these are for all the combination of words i get my answer do you see that so the answer is 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial 2 factorial times 8 c5 do you see that is the answer for the given question correct 8 c5 so i hope you have understood the approach right you can always calculate this answer and write it down so let's try it i may do calculation mistakes i'm not really good at it uh, 7 factorial divided by let's put within brackets 3 times 2 is 6 6 times 2 is 12 okay let's put 12 to be on safe side 420 okay 420 times 8 c5 uh, so 8 shift c is here 5 equals to 56 so what we get here is 56 times 420 and that is 23520 so there are only 23520 ways in which we can actually have all the vowels separated this is very important now if you follow a method of finding total number of words formed from independence taking away where vowels come together you'll get a wrong answer the reason is that we are also excluding the cases where two vowels are together, three vowels are together, four vowels are together. Do you see that? You have only considered five vowels together. And that's why your answer was wrong. So this is just the right approach whenever we have more than two things to be separated. Amadil Kumar and I hope you understand and appreciate this particular approach. We'll take a few more examples. Uh, that should make you perfect in this. Feel free to share your views, post questions, share my videos. Thank you and all the best.